Meet Stuart. Stuart is heading home on the train after a long day at work and scrolls through his daily LinkedIn feed on his mobile phone. Whilst reviewing his connections, influencers, and companies that he follows, he stumbles upon a sponsored white paper that takes his interest. He knows the company he works for may be interested in the content, so he fills out the form giving his name and email address to access the gated content. Once submitted, he skims the white paper and finds some interesting topics, so he emails the PDF to his work email address so he can explore in detail once he gets back to the office. The next day he sets aside 10 minutes to review the white paper in more detail. The content illustrates a topic that provides some useful insights into a potential problem his company may be facing. He's not sure but he has a gut feeling that there may be an opportunity there. So Stuart requests endorsement from his manager to agree on the problem he is trying to explore and research. Over the next couple of weeks, Stuart starts searching online using keywords and he finds a plethora of information available. He is a little overwhelmed and finds that a lot of his time will be spent wading through irrelevant content. If he can access distilled information like infographics, videos or interactive content, then he feels he saves a lot of time. Some of this information is available on blogs, independent forums, industry journals and also vendor websites as freely available and sometimes gated content. He once again submits his details to access gated content and adds it to the pile of information he will review. You've got mail. He starts receiving emails from vendors he submitted his email address to and reviews them but finds they aren't relevant to his needs. Some vendor salespeople call him, however, at the moment Stuart sees this as an interruption as he feels he hadn't adequately defined his needs let alone knows what he wants to buy. In short, he is in the exploration phase and his company isn't ready to buy. However, he keeps being bombarded by emails and calls he doesn't want or isn't ready for. Stuart doesn't currently follow the journeys the vendors have defined as his search is fragmented and is yet to have structure defined by an agreed problem or opportunity. The vendor journeys generally follow awareness to the decision process driven by email re-engagement to nurture him through the funnel. He's still at the top of the funnel but the vendor salespeople are engaging him when he's not ready. They are engaging him like he's at the bottom of the funnel and ready to buy with a clear and defined need. This is expensive for the vendors and a waste of Stuart's time. Due to Stuart's competing needs and time pressures, one thing he subconsciously wishes for is bite-sized, snackable content that provides insights and recommendations to subsequent relevant and engaging content once consumed. This is the moment of capture and engagement when Stuart's interest is peaked. This is the world of personalized, automated customer engagement that maximizes engagement and accelerates nurturing by recommending relevant content based on what Stuart is currently viewing. It is not email driven like marketing automation systems, it is content driven. However, it should be acknowledged eventually Stuart may move away from the interactive web and mobile apps delivering his content to attend to other tasks. Personalized automated customer engagement revives the engagement and continues nurturing them with highly personalized email and mobile notifications. Unlike outbound email campaigns using traditional marketing automation tools, each communication content piece is personally tailored to Stuart's context. At the end of the day, the content is what Stuart was interested in in the first place.